So as you know, I am the founder of the Constitution Caucus here in Washington, founded back in 2005. One of the main reasons I went to Washington actually was to try to return the Congress and the focus of the United States back on the Constitution and where our founding fathers intended it. Obviously, we've seen a lot of changes now over the last few years, and specifically in the last couple of weeks. Uh, as you, I was uh, devastated by the Supreme Court's decision, Justice Roberts' decisions, really, on Obamacare. Um, some people say they see a silver lining in how he treated the Commerce Clause. I see none of that. All I saw is a devastation of the, uh, of the Constitution, certainly not what our founding fathers intended, certainly not what our parents envisioned for uh, their children and now for us for our children, to be able to grow up in a country um, that had the exact same freedoms and rights that our parents and our, uh, the founding fathers envisioned for this country. Exactly, to your point, and now that the decision has been rendered, what do we do next? Well, the most immediate step, of course, is addressing the issue of Obamacare, but there's, there'll be other ones going down the road. But on Obamacare, what needs to be done is to repeal it, pull it out by its roots, okay. and uh, return this country to where we should be going on the issues of health care. But the first step is pulling out, repealing Obamacare. How do you do that? Right. Um, you make sure that uh, come uh, January, next mm -hmm. session, mm -hmm. that we have a Republican House, a Republican yes. Senate, mm -hmm. and a Republican in the White House as well. We have to make sure that when we pass the bill out of the House, and we've done that a number of times, we yes. passed in the House a number of times repeal, that it goes to the Senate. Right now, the Senate is the place where all good bills go to die, so we need to be able to pass it out of the Senate and then have... Um, President Romney signed the uh, repeal. Okay, and, and so do you anticipate that um, we, we need a, a majority? In well, we need, sanity, we need a, a majori Senate? majority in the House, we need a majority in the, in the Senate. Okay. Is it the 51 or something? Well, you need, well, you need 51 in order to repeal portions of it that deal with the tax portion. Okay. So now that the Supreme what? Court says it's a tax, tax right? through a process called reconciliation, we okay. can repeal and upend the uh, tax portions and other taxes in it. But you're right, um, you would need 60 votes in the Senate, most likely, to clean house and get rid of all the provisions. And I'm just, as I stand here, not sure that we're going to get 60 votes, uh, or 60 Republicans, and I'm not sure that we're going to get 60 votes on all portions of it. So this is going to be a continuing battle to try to undo Obamacare. Exactly, and I would think that with every act that Republican Congress makes and to overturn it, there's right. going to be the progressives um, that pass this legislation fighting it in the courts as well, right? Sure. The, I mean, the progressives will be fighting so, it in the House and the Senate. They'll be fighting it in the uh, courts as well. Um, and the conservatives will be fighting it in the courts. Right. There's a number of provisions of it that are still as we speak, making its way through right. uh, the court challenges, the issues dealing with uh, uh, religious freedoms, for example, those provisions are making their way through the courts as we speak. Great, great. And, and I think, you know, because it's such a monolithic bill and there's so yeah. much there, we had to pass it first before we knew it was in it, right, right? according to Nancy Pelosi. Yeah. How is the Republican caucus um, going to really define or chunk out, if you will, pieces of the bill so people can understand that the IRS can now, you know, has access to our checking accounts. Um, yeah. All kinds of nuggets in there that no one really yeah, no, knows, no one knew, as you put right? it, the note, you had to pass the bill before you knew what was in it. Actually, the addendum to that is you had to pass the bill and you had to have Justice Roberts add his addendum to it before you actually knew what was in it. Um, but it's our, our job as legislators and uh, representatives to let the public know what was in it, why it's so bad, not just on the constitutional basis right. that we've talked right. about, but on the economic basis as well, that it will destroy the economy, it will raise taxes, it will raise costs to the um, marketplace. You know, I was with a taxi driver the day the bill passed, and he said, oh, isn't this a great thing, because now I will have health insurance. And I said, well, no, this doesn't mean you have health insurance, this means you are forced to buy it or be taxed. Right. And then his response was, oh, but it will drive down the cost of health insurance. And I said, no, tell me one thing in this bill that will, in Obamacare, that will actually lower the cost of health insurance. There's nothing. The health insurance has gone up since its passage and it will continue to go up mm -hmm. under Obamacare unless, as we started to get with, repeal the thing. Okay, well, we really appreciate all that great work that sure. you'll be doing, you have done, and will be doing on that issue. Um, Fast and Furious is the other big oh, right. Um, right story that broke the same week yeah, as same, Obamacare same passage. Day. What's yeah. your thinking on, on what happened? Yeah, well, so Daryl Issa is the chairman of the other oversight mm -hmm. committee. He's doing an admirable job of uh, ushering that through the committee mm -hmm. and now through the House of Representatives as well, right. um, calling in contempt for the first time in history, apparently, a uh, member of the cabinet. Um, so we 
took that step. Right. The uh, next step was for, for justice to respond to us favorably. They did, did not, not, of course. Right. They didn't said arrest their boss. They're right. not going to arrest their boss. Right. Um, and so the next step would be for civil action to be uh, taken. So we can hope and and hope and anticipate that that'll be a, uh, a positive step. But just like with the other mm -hmm. issue, mm -hmm. um, it's an issue also where the American public has to understand what's going on here. Right. Um, that you have a situation where an attorney general, for the first time in history, has been held in contempt for basically failing to tell the American public, not Congress, but right. failing to tell the American public who knew what when, what was he doing, right. and uh, not abdicating his responsibility. Right, and for those folks who don't know what Fast and Furious is, it's quickly, it was the Obama administration, the Department of Justice, and, and possibly the, the State Department, yeah. right, got hands, uh, guns, automatic weapons in the hands of um, drug runners. Right, so right? Mexican drug we, the American government helped facilitate guns to go into Mexico that that uh, then ver facilitated the death of an American citizen, Amer American law and officer, right. and also the death potentially of upwards of 200 Mexicans that's as well. Right. Sometimes that's, that's forgotten right. in yes. the discussion. Right. So over 200 lives were taken by the failure, um, misfeasance of people in office. Right. And all we're asking is, who's responsible right. and, and what is justice doing it? And justice is saying, we're not going to tell you who's responsible and we're not going to do anything about it. Right, so they're kicking the can down the road until after the, the election. Well, who knows correct? where they're kicking it. Right. I, I don't know that they're kicking the can down the road. More likely that they're trying to hide the can. <laughs> I think they're trying to bury the can. Yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah, exactly. Use that analogy. So, so if we go to um, the, the civil courts in, I guess in Washington, D.C., right, okay. you'd be asking a judge yeah, um, right. to take a look at these hey, charges, right? right? And the then next step. open up discovery. Is that the idea? That's the idea. If we can't get discovery okay. through uh, Congress, maybe we can get discovery through the court system. So this is part of a bigger issue, though, correct, um, Congressman? Sure. I mean, you've got the Department of Justice and the White House with the, you know, putting up the barrier, saying yeah. we're not going to respond to Congress. You yeah. have them passing through executive order the amnesty bill for illegal immigration. Right. Yeah. Very good. So, what does this say about how Congress has been treated, and, and what's that? Well, means? you you put it one way that how Congress has been treated, but I put it, and I think you agree. That is how the American public has been treated. That's true. The American public is just asking through the representatives, tell us what is right. going on and abide by our wishes. So on Fast and Furious, they're saying, tell us who knew what when. Mm -hmm. on, the, um, uh, on the immigration issue, they're just saying, abide by our wishes. Now, Congress represents the American will of the right. people. Right. Congress has voted repeatedly to say no mm -hmm. to allowing mm -hmm. illegals to be able to stay in this country and get all the benefits right. of legals. American public says that, and Congress has done that. So on that point, they're just, the American public is saying to the president, respect our wishes. Yes. Don't do everything through executive orders as you may want to do it. Right. Listen to the American public. Exactly. So we no longer have a representative government, well, correct? It, I mean, um, it's, it's not as far as as far as the president it's, it's is concerned. Good. He right. is not representing uh, right. what the will of the American public on these issues. Exactly. Absolutely not. So that's really the big picture. Correct? That is. You 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 right. hit it. You've gotten it to the top, and uh, you got to the big picture. Very good. Well, thank you so much thank for you. joining us today. Happy thank Fourth you. of July. Happy Independence Day. Thank Absolutely. You.